He's not here today just because he happens to be in the neighborhood or because he's doing a world tour and just dropped off to Geneva. He has flown especially from Los Angeles uh, and given up time, precious time with his family, especially from Los Angeles, to be here today and to address you on the very important issues that this organization is uh, addressing both through its stock stakeholders platform and through its standing committee on copyright in the area of uh, access, increasing access to published works on the part of the visually impaired. So both in my capacity as Director General and as a huge fan, I'm very honoured now and uh, proud to introduce to you United Nations Messenger of Peace, Stevie Wonder. Good morning, Director General, world leaders, distinguished guests, and my United Nations family. I am grateful to Dr. Francis Curry, Director General of WIPO, and Trevor Clark for inviting me to address this very important gathering of world leaders, whom I know can turn inaction into action and dreams into reality. I'm further empowered and inspired to work towards my mission to bring hope and light to the millions around the world who live with disabilities. And specifically today, those like me who are blind or visually impaired. I'm calling for this body and the member countries to enact a declaration of freedom for all people with disabilities. Through your legislative efforts, incentives can be created to advance the blind and visually disabled towards the promise of a better life. We must declare a state of emergency and end the information deprivation that keeps the visually impaired in the dark. We must spread the word that the untapped genius of the 300 plus million who have a visual disability or are truly in need of our love. Today, not tomorrow, but today. While I know it's critical to not act to the detriment of the authors who have created these great works that enlighten and nourish our minds, hearts, and souls, we must develop a protocol that allows the easy import and export of copyrighted materials so that people with print disabilities can join the mainstream of the literate world. Now there are many proposals on the table that would create a safe clearing house for the exchange and translation of books. Please work towards a consensus. I beg you, now is the time to love. Please work it out. 
or I will have to write a song about what you didn't do. <laughs> but seriously, please, 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 sounds like the old James Brown song. <laughs> um, help God's life, help God's life shine on the 300 plus million that live in the dark, lead their way into the light. I would like for each country represented here today to adopt and develop, and develop with WIPO or their own country a declaration of freedom for people with disabilities. It is our legacy and our gift to the future. Let's do this. Thank you. <laughs> but before I go, I have another, another approach that I'd like to share with you. Give me a second to go to the keyboard. One second. We're going to play this game of, um, do you know this? My Chevy Amour, lovely as a summer day. Do you know that? My Chevy Amour, Distant as the Milky Way, my Chevy Omar, pretty little one that I adore. You, the only girl my heart beats for. How I wish that you were mine. Do you know this part? You can sing it. La la. Don't be ashamed. Now, the reason that you know this song is because it has been accessible to you. You can read the words, you can, I'm sure some of you have maybe sang this song, maybe danced to this song. Or the, you are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be around. You know that one? And this one, let me see. No New Year's Day to celebrate. Anyway, I just call singing to sing. There we go, see? <laughs> so my point is, you know, very simply, we must make the world accessible, the printed world accessible to Every single person who has a visual, uh, a visual disability or who is blind, as well, understanding that this is our livelihood, it is so important that we do protect the copyright, making sure that we as songwriters and artists can, no different than you, take care of our families. It's key. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to see the, the Declaration of Freedom for those who are blind and or visually impaired in some way, but not just those who are blind, those who are deaf, those who are paraplegic, quadriplegic or other, we have to have a declaration of freedom to secure and give every single human being the opportunity to live with the freedom of knowing that they have accessibility to information throughout the world. Now, I promise you, 
If you can, between now, meaning right here this time, and next year this time, I'll come back and we can do an incredible celebration concert for all of you. It's on you. Do what you got to do. Thank you, and God bless you. <laughs>